what is up thanks for joining me i'm kg leave a like leave a comment if you're new do not be ghost watchers please leave a subscribe it's 100 percent free for you to show me some love now moving forward here i do want to talk about destiny hero phoenix enforcer i want to talk about this card mainly because i told you guys to get into it for 200 to 250 uh if you listen to me you know you're chilling on a starlight rare dpe which is you know this card had a format this card is a hero card um this card's also very good you know you can summon it pretty much generically you got to play a couple of bricks but you can summon it pretty generically great car like i said if you guys got this for 200 250 you're chilling like i told y'all but i you know i won't spend too much time on cards i just wanted to tell you, you know, like i said i told you guys so with that one but uh moving forward here we do have prime math Mech, alan bershon uh, i wanted to talk about this card a subscriber a subscriber bought it up um brought it up you know it was a good idea to bring this card up like i said these are getting low in quantities for these gold rares um you know it kind of sucks how ugly this card is like i said i really hope they reprint all this shit like they gotta reprint all these math med cards but you know like i said this card goes up very quickly right now it's like a dollar fifty to get into it it's soon the two dollars to get into it and then you know like i said it just goes up from there 250 to get into it three dollars to get into it so you know it just keeps going up bro so now i do want to talk here about anti-spell fragrance the next card um this card you know you can get into pretty copies these ultra rares look okay they're not bad looking copies at all the secret rares are kind of cheap you know this 250 is fake it's not real it's like super damaged so and different languages so if you want to get into like an actual copy of this card it's like 15 20 bucks but you know once you get here 15 bucks you know it goes up a little bit to 20 by the end of the page but like a lot of these are fake so you know this card does go up a little bit this is the, this is not the main copy i wanted to talk about um <clears throat> the main one i wanted to talk about with the ots ones and the dts these go up quickly um starts at like seven eight dollars quickly goes up you know like i said and then there's just not many of them so once it goes up it goes away with this one and then um i did want to like i said sorry i talked about the collector's rares a few videos ago that was always a good one to get into still not a bad one to get into at all because that card will go up and it's the highest rarity so that card's just going to continue to go up but like i said with these um, ots prints as you can see here it just keeps going up keeps going up and then they're just gone so you know there's a lot of different copies of this card you can get into if you don't have it you know i would recommend the ots ones the most like i said that's why i wanted to bring this up the ots ones you can get into very cheap and they go up significantly so that's not a bad copy to get into at all now i do want to talk about some of the cars from cyberstorm axis i want to start with these starlights bro if you're pulling some of these starlights especially like visa star frost and you're not playing it you know i would say get rid of this asap every time i refresh the page the shit is cheaper so i would just say get rid of this card while you can you know if someone at the you know if you can trade it even try to trade it for some cards that you want i would just say get rid of this card while you can like i said because it just there's a lot of copies of it and you know it does sell but it doesn't sell that much i'm sure if mana dome does its thing or manadium whatever the fuck it's called i'm sure if it does its thing people will like it but i won't spend too much time when i'm moving forward i just think you should sell these cards sell these cards while they have a little bit of value because i think they'll go down and you can just pick them up again for a cheaper price or whatever you want to do but moving forward here um and i told you so moment told you guys to get this card for 55 60 bucks as you can see here it starts at 70 quickly goes to 80 to 90 like it doesn't even stay at 80 it's just at 80 for like a little bit and then 90 and like i said 100 and then just gone so if you guys got it you're chilling if you didn't man you guys gotta you gotta hear me out on some of this stuff man i'm telling you um triberg and it looks beautiful beautiful looking car next card i want to talk about is another is a starlight rare um you know barren blossom this card's awesome as you can see with the graph it's gone down but these quantities have not gone up you know so that's why i really wanted to bring it up here as you can see without me even scrolling down the card goes up around 20 to 30 bucks so you start at 160 you know 163 goes up to 190 so you know like i said that's around 30 bucks without even scrolling down and then if you scroll down to that then it's just like it's just gone at that point because after these 200s and the 225s the card's just gone so and then like i said once again with these like no one has the card you know you know four here but they want 420 and then three here but they want 225 so that's what i'm saying like there's just not many of these cards out here so if this is something that you want i'm not saying we should just go out and start buying cards i'm just saying it's just low in price and if that's something that you want you know it goes up quickly so that's what we bring up here now another card like i said low in price or relatively low in price to what it could be uh, return of the dragon lords this is a secret rare uh, in my opinion this is the best looking copy of the card the card's actually not even bad someone's a level seven or eight dragon from the grave and then you can banish it to save a dragon so not a bad card at all um only 26 listings of the card 
Um, this card's never really been prevalent. There's never been like a huge amount of these available, so always been a rare card for the most part. As you can see here, I you know it starts out at around ten dollars, fifteen. So I mean, it just goes up significantly. So you know twenty and then beyond, and then it's gone. So I would say get into this card if it's something that you want. I want to talk about Brilliant Fusion because this card, um, as you can see with the graph, well, I mean this graph doesn't really do it justice, but you know right now you can get into the card for around forty bucks. Um, quickly goes up here. You know, and then like I said, another thing about this card, there's not many of them at all. So after the 40s here, it goes up to 50, you know, 670. And then, you know, like I said, it just doesn't really exist like that. There's not many of them out there. So if this is one, you know, one of the cards that you want, like I said, if this card gets unlimited, I don't think this card's going to get on ban. Personally, I think this card's really good. I still think this card could be abused. I don't think this card should, I don't know. Maybe I'm just an old head and I have, you know, Vietnam flashbacks, but I don't know i feel like this card is still really good but if this card does ever come off the list for whatever reason this card will go crazy in price but and like i said this jump is just kind of stupid like you know 50 and then you know 70 so like i said you guys see what i'm putting down moving forward here i want to talk about the fluanda reese deck in general this is a really good deck you know if you're new to the game even if you're old to the game and you just want something to play this is always something you can play, bro. Like these cards are super cheap. You know, with all the hand traps, it may be hard to get, you know, may hard to get your combo through without playing this ultra rare. So, I mean, this may be a card you have to get into for a couple dollars, but everything else is literally cheap as fuck. Like even the original print imp and secret rare is a couple bucks, bro. Like all this stuff is so cheap. Like this is a viable deck you can get into for a ridiculously low price. And that's all I really wanted to say about it. Uh, moving forward here. Uh, oh wait, went backwards. So that's a mistake. Uh, moving forward here, I want to talk about Swap Frog. <clears throat> Excuse me. I told people to get into this car for around 150. Uh, this car recently went down like crazy. I, I guess it's because Rodan Tonin got banned and, you know, players from Sprite just stopped playing the card. So I guess they just wanted to get rid of him. I don't know. But this card has been down like crazy. And, you know, I, I, I didn't have the money to get him, so I couldn't take... I couldn't partake as I would like but you know as you can see here like some people really did some people took advantage of those and just bought them up bro like as you can see now the card if you want to get into it like you know 200 250 300 no one has any quality cards has 10 but it's 270 like I said I told you to get it for 150 so like it's just wild bro it really is wild like like I said at that time I was getting hyped in that video I remember getting hyped I told y'all this was the time to do it like bro it was just it was crazy like that was free money man i was telling y'all but yeah we'll go ahead and move forward here um we have cyanet mining this is a card i wanted to talk about because they're all low in listings even these fucking rares if you can pick these up in a trade any copy of these cards try to get these cards um these original prints from dark neo storm these are just ridiculously priced bro i was looking at this earlier and it was like 30 bucks to get into a first edition so oh here's something for like 25 so you know you got like 25 and then like i said it goes up to 30 after that goes up to 40 you know to 50 and then they're just gone so it's like bro i don't know you know if this is something you want to get into, I would say get into some of these for cheap, you know, because if they don't ever give, if they don't give us a higher rarity of this card, like, you know, I mean, like an OTS printing or, you know, a CR or something like that. That's all I could really see happening, like a CR or an ulti. And like I said, these are all good trades to get into. So if you can pick these up, these will appreciate in value if you don't get a reprint. So I will keep your hands on those. Um, moving forward here, and that card is such a circular, circular is cracked. But I'm uh, moving forward here, a hero lives. This is a card I want to talk about. Uh, because I told you to get this at three dollars, you know a while ago I said hey you guys got to pick this card up for three dollars is a good card to get into as you can see the card selling today Like today's the fifth so this card selling today for five to six bucks as you can see here with the sale You know with the listings five to six bucks to get into a copy Quickly goes up to six seven bucks for a copy and then like I said you know just keeps going up and then they're just gone So not many quantities of this at all, you know you guys, you know you should have got it for three bucks, but I would still say get it at five. This is a secret rare hero lives, man. We're not, and I'm not buying the ultis. So if you're not buying the ultis, I would say get into these, man. I only have three. I should have bought extras, but you know, it is what it is. Moving forward, Ignite Crusader. This is a card I wanted to talk about because it's it is involved in a lot of the combos. You know, a lot of combos with the Infernobles they use this card, so it has a significant price. The cheapest one here was four dollars. Shout out Galaxy Buster because they are a really good seller. So I mean, if you guys want to get these, I would say just get those right away because you know you know it's gonna come you know in good condition. You know it's gonna be a good a, you know a good card there, but um. We'll filter out the first editions because you know you know it, it makes it a little more significant so as you can see here the card goes up significantly 
you know very significantly the card goes up and the thing about it is you know all we need is a reprint and this is, i don't think this is going to last but i don't know if you know we don't know what konami is doing we don't know if they're going to be reprinting these random ass cards that are used in combos so you know if this is something that you want to play if you want to play some of the infra noble combos or you like the fire warrior shit i would say just get a copy now for four bucks but uh, moving forward here, uh, Parallel Exceed. I want to talk about this card because it's actually, you know, it's kind of it's kind of backwards what we're seeing here. So this one here, the Secret Rare, is the highest in quantities. In my opinion, it's the nicest copy. Um, so I mean, like I said, you guys can get in this card like five, six dollars. Um, the three to four that it was showing there is not really correct. It's sort of more like four to five. So like I said, yeah, like I said, after shipping, this is five bucks. So. You know, if you buy multiples and four bucks for a copy, like I said, I would go ahead and do that. Um, you should have got these for fifty cents to a dollar when the mega pin, when the mega tins came out, but I didn't have a channel back then, so I, there's no way I could have said anything about it. But um, moving forward here, um, you know, the the super rares is what, what I really wanted to talk about when it comes to this card. These go up significantly, so you know, I'm up to six, I'm up to seven eight nine and then the card just uh, you know ridiculously priced like i would never pay this for this card i would never pay a lot of this stuff for these cards and that's why i'm telling you guys to get them now because like i said i would never pay these ridiculous prices that are towards the bottom of the page for these cards even the um commons don't let me catch you buying these commons bro like don't let me catch you buying these and someone just bought one it was at 71 listings now it's at 70 listings so someone just bought this card <laughs> literally just now so that's like i said you guys gotta stop buying these you know don't spend three bucks on these bro just get a secret or get a super rare i would say get the super rares because they'll be a little bit cheaper and they're going up in value quicker because there's just less of them available less of them are printed less of them are available so i would say you just get into these ots ones bro like they're around the same price starting three to four bucks so don't buy those fucking commons please like don't do that to yourself but moving forward here um cyberstorm access I want to talk about this entire set because I know a lot of people are just hyped about the set as they are with every new set. You know, whenever a new set comes out, there's the hype behind a lot of the cards. But I'm just telling you guys, this card has literally gone down since I wanted to make the video. <clears throat> like I, th I was, I thought about putting this in the video, and this this Despian Lulu Wildwith card, I need it myself. That's why I've been looking at it. You know, I need it for some of the ritual shit that I like to play. It's trash, but I want the card. You know, the deck. It goes in the deck. You know, I'm not saying this card is trash. I'm saying my deck, whatever. So, you know, I, you know, these cards are going down in price. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is just wait. You know, if you guys were looking at the sale, you know, the cost of these cards when they first came out, they were all expensive. This was like 80 bucks. Now it's 46 bucks and this card's cracked. So all I'm saying is just give it some time, guys. Don't rush into any of these cards. Just give it some time. Let the people literally at my locals yesterday, everyone was using their credit to buy packs and get packs. I was like, just put it in the bank for me, bro. I don't want any packs. Just put it in the bank for me. I'll save it up. Like I said, this is all going to be cheaper one day. Like I said, maybe not not even that far in the future. This card's only 13 bucks. It just patter. And this card is nice. This card's nice, bro. But moving forward, I won't spend too much time on it. Just like I said, try and heed my warning on that. Don't rush into that shit. It's just not worth your money. Um, I want to talk about the Ignition Assault and Lightning Storm. Obviously, you can get into any of these for cheap. If you want to get the Prismatic Secrets, not a bad buy. They look beautiful, and the card does the same thing. I have those myself. That's literally the copy that I have myself. But if I had money, I would go ahead and buy these. As you can see, someone's buying these for 19 bucks, bro. When I looked at this one earlier, I saw that there were, this card was like $18 for a first edition. It was a first edition for like $18, bro. It's really wild. I guess it's 19 after shipping. But I, this is just wild to me. Like, the first one is 19 I don't have to scroll down and it's gone up by like what is this like 30 for 30 percent like like what is that six bucks that's like 30 percent about i don't know math's not that great so that may be a little less 30 percent i don't know but the card does go up significantly as I, as you can see here this is the this is the original print copy of the card it's a very rare card it was hard as fuck to pull at the time i'm not gonna waste too much time and you guys hear what i'm putting down so get this lightning storm this copy of lightning storm while you can trust me on it it's just it's just a good investment trust me on it please but if you guys have stayed here this long with me thank you guys for chilling with me man you need to let me know down below what is the worst trade you've made you guys take care have a good day